I loved it. I have wonderful memories. Graduated in 1977. We just had our 30th reunion a few weeks ago, a few months ago. My husband's also a Chat grad, so that's where I met him, which made my experience even better. Our students um, do very well and that's because they encourage each other to do very well uh, and this is a school where it is cool to be successful. CHAT is the uh, epitome of what I consider an ideal educational institution for a, a Jewish family today. Um, it has a, a wonderful balance of a strong academic program along with the religious uh, uh, components that are important to us as a family. The Tenenbaum Chat Experience is about more than just education. It really is an affair of the heart. And it's where parents, teachers, and former students want their children to continue to grow. There seems to be something that we are able to give our students that is a unique springboard for life. It is an experience that seems to be different in quality and different in kind from any other I look at chat as almost what we say in Hebrew, Hebrew, Pnina Bayam, as a pearl in the ocean. I think it's a very special place. Current students really enjoy going to school. They love the interaction with their fellow students. It's about sharing a vision, pulling together, and trying to make a difference. Ruach, like if you walk into our school on a regular day, there's just so much spirit. There's always a program going on. There's always ways to get all the students involved. I know that my connection personally has become so much stronger with Israel and Judaism since being, since going to chat. I think it all comes down to the word family. There's a sense of family, sense of ruah, spirit, and you can feel it in the air. And there certainly is a buzz throughout the schools. It's about the unique way that teachers and students get along. They care so much about both the success and the well-being of their students that every day you walk into the classroom and you know that the teacher is going to give you more than 100%. They're going to offer you, you know, themselves on a platter for you just so that you can gain the most of your school experience. I would say that the teachers are probably one of the greatest assets uh, at the school, uh, if not the greatest asset. The, the kids would not come out uh, being such fine young adults if it wasn't for the wonderful professional dedicated and devoted teachers at chat they're just superb they're just always there to help they want to see you succeed no matter how like how hard it takes how long it takes they're there for extra help at lunch they're they really offer everything they give you their phone number at home and their email addresses and you email them and they email you back and it's just incredible because you know that these teachers are always going to be there for you you really feel like you're not coming as you know just a student and this is just your teacher you can sit down and you can joke with them and you know you can cry to them you can do whatever it is that you need to do and they're just they're really there for you they really are like when you have the best teachers you have a passion for learning and it's rounded out by your friends it's rounded out by the activities where you're able to have fun in school Tannenbaum chat has a reputation of excellence general studies which includes subjects like mathematics sciences geography and phys ed forms the backbone for study but what really makes Tannenbaum chat unique is the Jewish studies program which includes a new stream program that's specifically designed for students with little or no Jewish studies background if you want the Jewish education and you want your child to be in that atmosphere and be a part of learning the love of Israel and um, just what it means to be Jewish and carrying on the, that tradition and our traditions then you would want your child to be in this in a type of school that's going to teach you all those things and values, good values as well. One of my favorite classes is rabbinics just because you learn so much and it's not just you know what this person said and what this rabbi said or whatever like you learn so much about the world and about people and it's the Jewish subjects I find that really teach you about the world at large you know it's not just academic facts, it's more, inter it's more left up to interpretation and it's more ethics and discussions and debates. It's, it's so amazing, it really helps you open your mind. I wanted them to become um, Zionistic, I wanted them to feel in their hearts, um, you know, for Israel, I wanted them to want to go and visit Israel, I wanted them to know on the high holidays how to pray and, and, on, and, 
how to run a Seder and all these kinds of things. It's just something that's embedded in them at home, and if it's reinforced at school, then it's always going to be with them. There really isn't a typical day for Tannenbaum Chat students. Academics is number one, and the students and teachers at Tannenbaum Chat share a special bond. Chad fostered really an environment of education, 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 and more education. Their typical day is, if I had to use one word, I'd say their typical day is one of engagement. The students, as we are told by parents, want to get up and get to school, and that's a very rare thing. A big part of the educational experience at Tannenbaum Chat revolves around extracurricular activities, and there's lots of choice here as well. Well, I'm on the varsity hockey and rugby team, I'm a Madrich, which is basically a leadership role where we take the young grades um, on outings, retreats. I'm the head of the business club and I'm a member of DACA and I'm also in dance fashion show. I mean, who'd have thought that an athlete like me would be involved in dance fashion show? We have rock and roll beating club, we have classic rock club, we have clay club, we have a newspaper, we have an independent newspaper. We have everything that meets every need of every student. Recent Tannenbaum Chat grad, Danny Richmond, traveled to Africa as part of the Governor General's state visit to Africa. We're proud of Danny and his work to help the global community. The workload for students is very intense, but it's fun too. Time management is the key. Chat students have a double curriculum. You know, we learn everything that public school students learn. And then on top of that, we have all our religious studies. And somehow through all of that, you still manage to be ahead of the game, which I think is pretty cool. I think a lot has to do with their motivation. When you're having a good time, and you are motivated. You've often heard the busiest people get the most done. I think that this trains them. You go through so much with these friends, whether it's the so-called hell weeks where you know you have literally a test every day, or whether it's waking up early for practice or staying late for, uh, for business club or DECA. You really bond with these guys and you're sharing more than just a high school experience. And so when you move on, you have something in common and you've made really great friends. In September 2007, the new Kimmel Family Education Center in Vaughan opened its doors. It's a new, state-of-the-art facility that will serve Tannenbaum Chat students and their families for many years to come. A further seven-figure investment will be made to our Tannenbaum Chat South Campus, including new science, media, and music facilities. Over the past three years, 98% of Tannenbaum Chat graduates have gained their first or second choice for university or college entrance. 79% of these graduating students were Ontario scholars, including several Millennium scholars. Dozens of Tannenbaum Chat graduates have decided to continue their studies in Israel. And a continuous stream of Tannenbaum Chat graduates are accepted to Ivy League universities.